Hi, this is Christy from birdmentor.com, where I teach advanced skills to beginning birders, and thanks for joining me today. I have a uh, Stellar's Day yelling at me right now because I'm a little close to the feeder and I think he wants it all to himself. <laughs> so when you look at a bird, what's the very first thing that you notice? Maybe it's size, it's color, markings, I don't know, the sound it's making? <laughs> How often would you say that you look at its behavior? Yeah, you see, I get messages from people all the time who ask me to help them identify a bird, and rarely do they mention the bird's behavior. But I'm gonna share a story with you today that I hope will highlight the value in looking at bird behavior. So I was standing just a few feet from here when I noticed the figures of four tiny little birds flitting amongst the pine trees really erratically. And I didn't have my binoculars with me. I know, sacrilege. <laughs> so I tried to pick up on other cues that I could see without the use of the, you know, the up close and personal that you get with the binoculars. All that I was really able to see though was that they were a little bit smaller than a chickadee. They were moving in a group and they seemed to not be able to stop moving. Like each of them had eaten an espresso bean that morning or something. Oh, and I also noticed that their sound that they were making was a really, really high-pitched call and it was pretty constant. So based on those characteristics, the time of year that it is, and the habitat that I'm in, I was able to narrow down my choices to just six individuals. The pygmy and the red-breasted nuthatch, the ruby-crowned and the golden-crowned kinglet, the bush tit, and I left the possibility open for a mystery bird. What gave away the family in the end was how all over the place they were and how quickly they were moving about. Any guesses as to which family it might be? Yeah, see that nervous kind of behavior? That's really characteristic of the kinglet family. But which one? I didn't know. So it was another one of their behavior characteristics that actually gave the individual species away. You see, it's the golden crown kinglet that prefers to move in a flock or a small group, whereas the ruby crown kinglet prefers to be more solitary. So it was a real treat for me to be able to know that it was the golden crown kinglets I was watching yesterday because I don't often get to see them. Okay, in the comment section below, please let me know one behavior of a bird that you've observed before that you think of as unique. All right, I hope you all have a lovely week and please get out there and help share some bird love in the world. Until next time.